Hello, my gorgeous ones. <laughs> so talking to a lot of women during the last th this past week, particularly as we were wrapping up 2021 uh, and people talking about, you know, looking into the future of 2022 and how they want to show up and what's going on, what was and what will be. And a lot of us do get a little bit caught in our head at times, you know, the whole story going and worrying about the future, worrying about the unknown, thinking that we have to think about it and plan it and know what each step is going to be and have strategies in place and tools and techniques and all the stuff. And unfortunately, also a lot of us pre-plan what we think is going to be an happening in the future based on our past experience. We, 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 we developed this idea that the past will predict the future. And we then, because of that, go into the present moment or forecasting the future, we go in with battle armor. We go in ready to, yeah, do battle with, uh, do battle to set boundaries. It's really interesting. I've been seeing this out there in the space. I, I saw a, I saw a, a meme, you know, a post elsewhere in Facebook yesterday. Facebook, maybe Instagram, anyway. And it had me pondering. It was the, it was a, a kind of a meme motivational post. And the idea of it in a nutshell was I'm not going to let any, you know, crap people do crap things to me, that, you know, in 2022 and, and I'm going to set my boundaries and I'm going to put myself first and I'm not going to accept anything less than what I give out and, and all the stuff. And it's probably Instagram, actually, I think. And, and, and there were just, indeed, hundreds of, yay, you go, woman. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, this is exactly what we have to do, kind of responses to it. And it had me thinking, that is absolutely energetically not the way to step into your future. And the only way to the future is in your present moment. So pretty much, it's not the way to, to show up. That idea that we have to mm, have clear expectations of what we want and that we have to make other people, control other people, control the situation, the events and that in order for them to they, that them and it and all the rest of it to show up the way that we want it to show up and all the rest of it. Um, energetically, that's just not the way to go. And it's not the way to go because it sets you up defensively, it sets you up judgmentally, it sets you up in your ego, personality, thinking, limited view, uh, fear-based view of the world, ready to do battle. I'm not going to accept this and accept that and all the rest of it. Here's the thing. When you show up in your life from your innate well-being, from what is deep within you, your heartful wisdom, when you show up for yourself from that, you don't have to set boundaries. You don't have to intellectually abstract, theoretical, thinky, thinky, have anything set up where you're going to go marching forward into the world demanding other people to meet whatever it is that you, your ego thinks that it needs to be, to be met. When you are showing up for yourself, in your wisdom then you get to show up in your present moment with an open heart an open mind and open arms to receive what arises in that moment and you can know that you will respond in that moment in the best possible way from the universe from your wisdom you will show up in the best possible way and the natural byproduct of showing up in the present moment in the best possible way is that the future moment that, that spins out is also going to be the best for you. And when you are focused on your own inner wisdom, and if there's going to be any boundaries setting anywhere, it's with yourself to listen to your inner wisdom and follow it, as opposed to second guessing yourself with fear-based thinking. When you do that, 
you are open to receive. And what you are open to receive is the goodness that the universe has on offer. We all have higher self wisdom. We are all capable of tapping into our innate wisdom. Even that difficult relative, friend, spouse, kid, whatever, boss, whoever's out there that you've labeled as difficult, that you've got to tell them how to behave in order to treat you a certain way or else you're going to cut them out of your life and all that stuff, no joy is going to come from that. No possible joy can come from that. And you are setting yourself up for more of what you don't want from other people in the universe when you go into the world that way. So that, that's my little nutshell on how to show up in 2022 letting go of the story in your head that things need to look a certain way in order for you to be okay. Recharged and re-energized by your own innate well-being and therefore open to receive in the moment with being guided by your, your wisdom instead of your thinking personality, ego, fear-based story in your head. And therein, <laughs> therein lies the, uh, underlies the upcoming masterclass that I'll be running on the 12th, so next week, um, release, recharge and receive. But I will put the sign up link because if you don't, if you can't come live to it uh, and want the replay, then you're going to have to sign up so that you get the email with the recording later anyway that's what we'll be looking at we'll be looking at releasing recharging and ready to receive for the rest of 2022 so i'm looking forward to that and that this this upcoming masterclass is a, going to be a, the a taster and the underpinning of the upcoming group uh, um, mastermind. It'll be a six week program where we are going to be tapping into our inner wisdom, listening to it and following it so that we can have the single empty nester life of fun and freedom that we have bloody well earned after decades of looking after partners and children and working in salary jobs and all the rest of it and that kind of thing. It's now our time to, to do that. We don't have to go into battle out there with anyone in order to have the fun and the freedom that we, our hearts are calling us to have, that we want. I will pop the sign up page above the video, but I'll also pop it on the wall. Loving you all so much. Um, talk to you all soon. I'm here, ready to serve. Let me know what you need help with. Loving you all. Take care.